But one thing the Lord is also telling me is to tell everybody that he, God, that made the heaven and the earth is fully in control in everything that happens even in this, our nation. Wherever we are, we must all continue to trust God, to believe God, and know that God is at work in every ramification. God wants your good, and God wants my good. God wants everybody's good. God wants everybody. The best is what God is prepared for everybody. There's nobody on the planet Earth that God does not have a perfect plan for. And that plan of the Almighty God is what everybody must pray for and hope on and depend on. I want to say this time around that God has not finished with us in this country. God is at work. And because God is at work, everybody must keep on looking unto God. We cannot be calling upon the name of the Lord in this planet country. And then we are saying, oh, we are calling upon the name of God and God cannot answer prayer. God answers prayer. That is why I sang that song and I said, Jehovah Jireh answer prayer. Jehovah Jireh answer prayer. Chine kenki when I say kwere. Chine kenki when I say kwere. Dere jim 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 wa matamu wala. Chine kenki when I say kwere. Dere jim 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 wa matamu wala. Chine kenki when I say kwere. Chine kenki when I say kwere. Chine kenki when I say kwere. It means that God in heaven answers prayer. And the one thing that gives me joy is that the accuracy of whatever God tells his servant and tells us is what we all see with our eyes coming to pass we have prayed for the peace of god for the glory of god for the blessings of god for the favor of god for discussion for everything and this is the time for everything that we prayed for to come to pass you see in the realm of the spirit the world is like a glass in that glass, when you look at it, you are seeing a mirror. When you are looking at the mirror, you are seeing everything very transparent. There is nothing that is hidden in the world when you come to the realm of the spirit. And God is the author and finisher of everything that happens on the face of the earth. And so people in the field of playing ball, God is holding all of them in the hand. Can I tell you something? From the number one citizen of the country to the least of the person anybody will talk about, all of them are in the finger and the hand of the Lord. The good and the bad, they are all in the hand of God. And the Bible said the heart of everybody. Because when God described in the Bible, he said the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord to turn as he wishes. Now, it means that if the, hand of, the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord, every other person's heart will be in the hand of the Lord and God will turn all our hearts to the glory and to blessing. So God, whatever he decides, is what will come to pass. You see? That is why any time I come on this altar and this podium, I make sure I give you the word of God raw the way it is. I don't look at people's face. I'm not after anybody. I'm not against anybody. And I'm not after for anybody. I make sure I stand for the glory of God. If you are a man of blessing, man of love, man of peace, man of goodness, mercy, you are my man. Then if you are on the negative side, well, I remain with the positivity. And that is why I say, I sang a song here, I said, let's do good things, brother, let's do good things, let's do good things, reward is waiting for us. Kai mezi ye wanem, kai mezi ye wanem, kai mezi ye wanem, Let's do good thing, oh. Let's do good thing. Reward is waiting for us. Let's do good thing, brother. Let's do good thing, oh. Let's do good thing. Reward is waiting for us. Let's do good thing, so. Let's do good thing, so. Let's do good thing. Reward is waiting for us. Let's do good thing, brother. Let's do good thing, oh. Let's do good thing, reward is waiting for us. Let's do good thing, brother. Let's do good thing, no. Let's do good thing, reward is waiting for us. Let's do good thing, brother. Let's do good thing, no. Let's do good thing, reward is waiting for us. When we do good things, reward 
is waiting for us in the name of Jesus. Let the good thing, brother, let the good thing know. Let the good thing reward is waiting for us. Now, last week I was on the prophecy and I was given the prophetic word as God was bringing it on this altar. I told the world and I told everybody, I said, the whole world will be expecting something that will begin to happen. And I gave the prophecy, I said, I see we are manufacturing of different kind of things are being manufactured. And I see also, I gave a prophecy, I said, I see something built that is going to have the fastest speed ever recorded in the history of mankind. That will be faster than the sound. That will, can travel to anywhere in just few few minutes. Now, the world has been able to get to a point of producing, uh, uh, they call it a hypersonic, or I don't know what they call it, but this is like a replay that can fly from any part of the world to any part of the world just in an hour or just about. Now, I want to let you know that the ultimate is not yet out. The ultimate is not yet out. Now, Coming to Nigeria and all that is happening in Nigeria, I want everybody to know that God is in the business of the best. The best is what we all are praying for. And the business of the best is always in the hand of the Lord to decide what will happen. God is in the business of the best for everybody. Whether we are going to be on our own so everybody stay on their own or we are going to be together or however we are going to be god is in the business of the best when i say business of the best you know i told you last time i say god is preparing us to evangelize the world in other words god wants to use us to now be the people that will shine the light all over the world and I gave a prophecy here, I say, it is time for the world powers and all the continent of the world and the western world and the Asians and all of them to wake up and begin to look more into things that are going on secretly. You see, all these revelations and all these things are God trying to open the eyes of mankind for us to be able to prepare ourselves for the days ahead. Now I have a lot of prophecies right on this altar for the country Nigeria and the season we are in. If you have not been able to go through my prophecies and see the things that I prophesy and how they all come to pass, I want to beg you to make out time, visit Possibility Television, either on YouTube or on Web TV or right on Ruko TV or any channel or your YouTube channel go and visit the prophecies and check the accuracy and check how God has constantly spoken to us without dilution. You see, this is not all about somebody saying things and after saying it, we didn't see it or we didn't know when the person said it. It's about prophesying things and the thing is online with a date and when it was prophesied and also watching and seeing it coming to pass exactly the same way God has revealed it or the same way God has given it to us. In other words, there is nothing that is happening in this country now that is not in the record of the Almighty God. If I tell you that everything is programmed, God has known everything and God knows when all will be and how all will play out. And so it is time for everybody to keep praying and maintain peace maintain law and others try your best to wait upon the lord let the perfect will of god be done and keep on believing god and praying to god and asking god for his will to be done when the will of god is done people on the top must love it will of god done people at the middle they must then this is not about uh, do you love it or you don't love it oppressors will love it the oppressed will love it and everybody must love it whether good or bad everybody must love whatever is the will of god because the will of god will give everybody the enabling environment and everything that is needed for everybody to have the best that is needed for everybody and so your prayer and your concentration is let the will of god be done because the moment the will of god is done 
brother, you are going to rejoice. You are going to celebrate. You are going to dance. You are going to jump up. And you are going to have all the best that you ever imagine or wish for yourself. So we must all concentrate for the best. Because what is happening at this time around, I said something is written in the spirit. What is it that's written in the spirit? I said, I see that the time for the will of God and the best to be given is now. And so God said, the clarity is sure. The will of God is what we have prayed for. Let us believe God for his will to be done in the whole world. In Africa, in Nigeria, and everywhere in the nation. The will of God should be done. And then the prayer is for wisdom. We must continue to pray for wisdom for people that are at the top, people in the middle, and everybody. Let the wisdom of God be given. Because I know that wisdom is what will avert the danger plans of the enemy. When I say danger plan of the enemy, I'm talking about the plan from external. There are a lot of plans, external plans. Put it down. A lot of plans, external plans of the enemies. The enemies that have taught every one of us as enemy. If you look at where we all are now, you would think, oh, this one is my enemy, this one is my enemy, I am your enemy, you are my enemy. No, it is the external forces that are trying to make us enemy of each other. And when they succeed, that is when they will now laugh at us. But God will prevail in every ramification because God owns the heavens and God owns all powers. So wisdom is what is needed now, prayer of wisdom that's the right thing and the right wisdom, the right thing to be done and the people that will pilot any affair or do anything or do any judgment or whatever to use the wisdom of God in following everything that goes on. Because I know that everything that goes on must be in the direction of the Almighty God so that at the end of everything, every one of us will have reason to say, thank you, Jehovah God of heaven. Nobody is going to kill anybody. Nobody is going to swallow anybody. Nobody is going to die for nothing. And nobody is going to be an island. Everybody must answer to the perfect will of God. Because God is the controller of heaven and the earth. And even the earth beneath. God loves everybody. God loves the people on the top. The people in the middle. And the people down, 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 down. God loves everybody. That is why he gives the rain to the righteous and to the unrighteous. That is why he gives the bread of life. To the people up and the people down that is why he gives the same type of bread there's nobody in this world or anywhere even people on the top or people at down or anywhere you are nobody has a special air that he breathes can you imagine these are the things that should be a mystery to everybody wherever you are any level you are you must see this as a mystery what is the mystery the air i preach is the same that you the president or the governor or the this counselor or the the, the the number one secretary general or whatever you are chief doctor king and all of them the same air i preach is what all of them preach so we all are in the hand of the same god almighty it's a mystery the air you breathe, the air I breathe, makes us one and makes us related and makes us, whether we like it or not, we are in the same course. And so the hand of the Lord must prevail in every ramification. And prayer of the saint are highly needed. We will continue to pray and continue to look unto God because we will never be tired. This is why a songwriter wrote a song and he said, Everybody continue to pray, I will never be tired. I will never, never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. I will never be tired. I will never be tired. I will never 
never be tired. Continue to pray. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. Everybody continue to pray. I will never be tired. Nobody is dying. Nobody is going to uh, this or that or that. Everything will be to the glory of God. The hand of God is already in the air, lifted up far above to make sure that the glory of God and the will of God and the blessings of God gets to everybody because he's the lover of everybody. He's the keeper of Israel. He's the one that loves us and has every plan so that we the children of god and the believers and people that trust in god we know that god is not wicked god is not a god that oh i, I, I am god punish this one leave this one do this one this do this the will of god must continue to prevail in our lives in jesus name so god bless you mightily today by the grace of god tomorrow we are coming with raw prophecies when I say raw prophecies, I'm talking about life prophecy that you need to hear what God is saying. And also take note of that. Take note of that. There is nothing like anybody destroying anybody or killing anybody or whatever. The glory of God and the will of God must take control. We must keep on to believe God and trust God for the betterment of everybody. To the glory of God in Jesus name. I see the light of God coming like never before. And I see the will of God prevail over every one of us. And the what God has said is what must surely be. Because the word of God is not the word that takes us up and down. It's the word of God that keeps on moving us forward. Because forward ever, backward never is a plan of God for our lives. God bless you all and thank you for being part of what we are doing. If you are among the people that love this channel, please do your best and partner with us and support the channel let us join hands together and keep on pushing the gospel of our lord jesus christ especially the gospel of prophecy that brings the light that shine forever let us put hands together and support this very channel subscribe share the broadcast connect your friends connect your loved ones follow us on this page glorious mount of possibility church and also subscribe on this very channel possibility television this very channel you're watching subscribe with us 
possibility television when you subscribe you will see that all the subscriptions and the notifications the blessings will never leave you or forsake you and then if god touches you also you want to support the gospel financially and otherwise we also have our means of your partnership or your support and god will surely continue to bless you and you also want to be part of us in supporting our tv program because we have a tv channel called the possibility television our possibility television is also right there on your free to air decoder you can scan your decoder you will get possibility tv you can watch us on ruko tv you can also watch us on uh, on, uh, on amazon you can watch us on any platform that is digital platform you will see this very uh, uh, channel all over the place god will continue to bless you all in jesus name your support or whatever you are doing use the church account that you've seen here to see what you can do and god will continue to bless you please don't forget i will always be online here to be a blessing by the time i come tomorrow after i minister to you i will enter into life prophecy because there will be a situation whereby you can be prophesied to wherever you are in the world you can have direct prophecy coming from this altar to you the prophecy will come live and you will hear the prophecy you receive the prophecy and that alone will change things for you in jesus mighty name i pray thank you for watching as i'm still your prophet prophet dr david Kinglio elijah the major prophet of the most high god i remain in this business of touching lives and i will never stop i will continue to do what god asked me to do because i know there are thousands of people and millions of people that must be blessed through this very channel and i know that as you receive your blessings whatever you receive will remain with you in the name of jesus